Welcome to the Kelly Files special, The Immigration Issue. I'm Shannon Bream, in for Megan Kelly. The hot button topic of the 2016 campaign trail right now, immigration. The challenges are enormous. How to stop the flow of illegal immigrants and what to do about the more than 11 million undocumented living in the U.S. today. Republican candidates have weighed in on nearly every aspect of this issue across the board. We need to secure our borders, enforce our laws, no amnesty, go forward with a legal immigration system that puts a priority on American working families. Build the wall but people know that if they come here illegally, they're going back from now going forward. You need an e-verify system and you need an entry-exit tracking system and all sorts of other things to prevent illegal immigration. It makes no sense right now that we have millions of people coming here illegally to this country and that current law grants their children citizenship. Everything should be on the table to be discussed to try to make sure that what we do is we have the most effective system we can to end what's been happening in this country, which is having people come here legally. Folks who come here legally should be the ones who benefit the most. The Border Patrol needs to um, act on a strategy and stick with it. Uh, there's too much politicizing of what they're trying to do. They do good work, but too much influence from Washington, D.C. We need our federal immigration laws enforced in every single city, including San Francisco. It's shameful that sanctuary cities exist. It really goes back to something that, you know, I hate so much, and that's political correctness, uh, that keeps us from being able to, to do what needs to be done to secure our borders. The candidate taking the most heat for his stance on immigration, Donald Trump. He dove headfirst into the fray on day one of his campaign. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. Tonight, we examine what the candidates are proposing and whether their ideas will work and what the current situation really looks like on our southern border. But first, a closer look at one of the most controversial proposals. Donald Trump's suggestion that as president, he would seek to force all illegal immigrants living in the U.S. to leave. Critics have pounced on the proposal today. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton evoked one of the most terrifying and despicable images of the Holocaust to go after Republicans on this very issue. I find it the height of irony that uh, a party which espouses small government would want to unleash a massive law enforcement effort, including perhaps National Guard and others, to go and literally pull people out of their homes and their workplaces, round them up, put them I don't know, in buses, boxcars, in order to take them across our border. I just find that not only absurd, but appalling. Mark Thiessen is a Fox News contributor and former chief presidential speechwriter to President George W. Bush. All right, Mark, I want to start by asking you, because maybe I missed it, which candidate has proposed using National Guardsmen to go in and drag people out of their houses and put them in, quote, boxcars to get them out of the country? Not a single one. And you know, yesterday Hillary Clinton compared Republicans to terrorists. Today she's comparing them to Nazis, saying that Republicans want to take immigrants and put them in boxcars. I mean, one, that reeks of desperation. Two, it reeks of hypocrisy. Let's not forget that it was her husband, Bill Clinton, who sent federal agents armed with submachine guns to bust down the door of an immigrant's home and drag a screaming child, Elian Gonzalez, out of his home and throw him over the uh, Berlin Wall back into Cuba. So if Mrs. Clinton is, is worried about jackbooted thugs in America knocking on doors in the night and dragging uh, immigrants out of the country, she ought to talk to her husband. How worried do you think she should be about some of this terminology she's using? Because, you know, the, the boxcar analogy immediately, I, I think most people out there are going to think the Holocaust. That is the last image that anybody wants to be used. And, and uh, you know, frankly, across the spectrum, when people make those kinds of references or reference Nazis or Hitler, I mean, they are roundly denounced, usually when they do it. 
Well, she's done it two days in a row now. Yesterday it was Al Qaeda. People who are pro life have the same ideology as Osama bin Laden. Today, people who are concerned about the question of illegal immigration, who are concerned about Kate Steinle being shot in, the, in San Francisco by an illegal immigrant who should have been deported, those people are Nazis. I mean, this is, you know, this is rhetoric that is unfit for a presidential campaign, and quite frankly, it's desperation. She is so desperate to stop talking, to change the subject from her emails and the fact that she might be indicted, that she, that she is using the most heinous language you could possibly have in a presidential campaign. It's appalling. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about one of the, the underlying issues here, which is this idea of mass deportations. Um, you know, people have criticized this idea, although it, Trump in laying out his specific immigration policy just a few pages long, there was no actual wording calling for mass deportation, but it's an idea that he's discussed uh, in context, at least, in a number of interviews talking about they all have to go, you, your head's going to spin so fast, these people are going to be gone, and then we're going to let the good ones, quote, good ones, back in. You say that this is um, really not that out far out. If you're looking at ideas that have been proposed and actually gotten some bipartisan approval in the past, depending on if that's really what Trump means. Yeah, I mean, people are very focused on his rhetoric, which is which is heated, uh, saying everybody's got to go and all the rest of it. But what he's actually proposed when you talk about it is exactly what you said, is to make people leave the country and then the good ones, meaning people without criminal records, can it can be expedited back in the country so they can stay here permanently and work and and not have to leave. That is a proposal that has actually been endorsed by the New York Times, the editorial page of the New York Times, voted on by the United States Senate, nearly passed, and and five Democrats voted in favor of it. It's called touchback. Back in 2007, Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison offered a bill that would have allowed people, it would have said every illegal immigrant, if they want to stay here, has to go back to their home country, apply for a Z visa, and then come back in here. It, got, it was defeated in the Senate 53 to 45, which is a very close vote. Five Democrats voted for that. Mrs. Clinton, are those Democrats Nazis? Because that's what you're saying about them. All right, quickly, a couple of other uh, top-tier contenders who've talked about this. Dr. Ben Carson, he says some segments of the economy would virtually collapse if you did get tens of millions of people who are here illegally to leave the country. And he says they're just here seeking a better life. Jeb Bush has talked about what he uh, believes to be Trump's proposal, what we believe. He says it's not realistic. It would cost hundreds of millions of dollars and violate civil liberties while also creating friction with Mexico, which is our third largest trading partner. Uh, Fair criticisms? No, I don't think they are. I mean, look, Trump is very, is, his rhetoric is much more heated than what he's actually proposing. I mean, he keeps saying, I've got a big heart. And what he's talking about really is, is, is touchback amnesty. It's a form of amnesty, except you have to go out of the country in order to get it. In fact, his proposal, when he, with, with this touchback proposal, was actually attacked. It was endorsed by the New York Times. They said, quote, it's not ideal, but if a touchback provision is manageable and reassures people that illegal immigrants are indeed going to go back to the line, it's defensible. The New York Times endorsed it. National Review attacked it. They said it was, it was a fraud that would allow illegal immigrants to cut the line and have backdoor amnesty. So this is a proposal that was endorsed by the New York Times and attacked by National Review. It's not that it's not that radical. Hmm. The New York Times and Donald Trump on the same page about immigration. We'll have to dig that, into that a little bit more. Mark Deason, always exactly good to see truth. you. Thank Thanks, you so Shannon. much. All right, one of the most controversial proposals being discussed when it comes to immigration is the idea of building a wall to span the entire southern border with Mexico. We're going to look at where the candidates and the voters stand on that and also ask Rich Lowry why he thinks the tone of this debate is the real problem. Earlier in the year, I was on Fox News Sunday and laid out what I thought we should do, which is secure the border, which means build the wall, have the technology, have the personnel to make sure it's safe and secure.